I am Dr. P. Rajakumari, working as an associate professor in the Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I want to discuss about ODE. What is ODE means Ordinary Differential Equations. ODE is nothing but Ordinary Differential Equations. So, here in module 1, we are having first order and first degree ordinary differential equations. So, in this video, we are going to learn about what is ODE, who invented this ODE, what are the applications of ODE and what are the methods we are having to classify the ODE. These three things we are going to know in this video. See here, first of all, what is Differential equation. An equation which involves differentials. So, an equation which involves differentials is called differential equation. Actually, what is the equation? If any polynomial is there that is equal to 0, then we can say that this is the equation. Then we can say that this is the equation. After that, what is the differential equation? So, what is the differential equation? An equation. So, that means in equation, we should have the differentials. Differential means derivative. So, dy by dx like that. So, dx by dt. So, these are the differentials. If you are having these differentials in the equation, then we can say that that is the differential equation. After that, what is the ordinary differential equation? What is the ordinary differential equation? So, an equation is said to be ordinary. So, after having the differentials, how we can say that that is the ordinary. So, if the derivative have the reference to only one independent variable, we should have only one independent variable in the derivatives, then we can say that that is the ordinary differential equation. Here, we can observe the examples here, dy by dx plus 7xy equal to x squared. So, here we are having differentials and only one independent variable. So, if you are having only one independent variable, we can say that that equation is ordinary differential equation. So, here we can observe d squared y by dx squared plus 3 into dy by dx plus 2y equal to e power x. So, here we are having the differentials and only we are having one independent variable. So, we can observe all these things. Here, we can have the ordinary differential equation up to this. So, here two types of differential equations are there and ODE and PDE. ODE and PDE. ODE means ordinary differential equation. PDE means partial differential equations. So, what are the differential equations? And who invented this differential equation? We are going to see now. So, here differential equations are two types. We are having ordinary differential equation. Just now we saw about the ordinary differential equation. Now we are seeing here partial differential equation. So, what is the meaning of the partial differential equation? And differential equation is said to be partial. If the derivatives in the equation have reference to two or more independent variables here, two or more independent variables, two or more independent variables. So, in the ordinary, we are having only one independent variable. In ordinary, we are having only one independent variable. So, here in the PDE, we should have two or more independent variables. Here, we can see the example, dou z by dou x whole square plus dou z by dou y whole square equal to 4. So, here we can see x and y, two independent variables are there. So, first of all, what is the independent variable? What is the dependent variable here? G, one C here y, what is the meaning of dy by dx, dy by dx equal to 2xy. This is the one equation, one ordinary differential equation. 
here what is the y and what is the x y is dependent variable y is dependent variable how we can say that y is a dependent variable there is a change d by dx of y there is a change in y with respect to x that means y value is different depending on x so y is called dependent variable dependent variable so here in the x there is no change so that means x is not depending on any variable so x is independent variable x is independent variable so y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable in the in this equation we are having only one independent variable so this is the ordinary differential equation if you observed here in the partial differential equation here we are having x so x is independent here we are having y y is independent that means here x and y both are independent variables both are independent variable so this equation is partial differential equation we can observe here some more examples do u by do y equal to minus 2v by 2x this is a partial differential equation how we can say that this is the partial differential equation here we are having two independent variables y and x and here also we can observe do x by do y plus do y by do x plus 2 equal to 0 here also y and x both are independent variables we can observe here do square u by do x square do square u by do t square equal to 2 into do u by do t so here x is independent and t is also independent so we can have two or more independent variables then we can say that that equation is partial differential equation so we just now we observed what is the differential equation so what are the types we are having in differential equations two types ordinary differential equation that is nothing but ode and second one is partial differential equation that is nothing but pde so who invented this differential equation but we are going to see now see invention of differential equations in mathematics the history of differential equations traces the development of differential equations from calculus which itself was independently invented by who invented this english physicist isaac newton and german mathematician so here these two people are invented the differential equation from calculus so the history of the subject of differential equations in consists from from a synopsis of the recent article what is that recent article the history of differential equations in 1670 to 1950 so differential equations began with leibniz the bernoulli brothers and the others from the 1618s not long after newton's fractional equations in the 1670 so here two persons and bernoulli brothers and leibniz invented the differential equations so after that what is the application or what are the applications we are having for the differential equation so where we can use we can see here ordinary differential equation has applications and it has the ability to predict the world around us to predict the world around us so what the world around us every every everything is in the form of a, a differential equation so we can predict that and it is having remarkable applications it is used in a variety of disciplines like biology economics physics chemistry and engineering so here we can use this ordinary differential equation in various disciplines where biology economics physics chemistry and engineering fields so what is the help and what is the importance here means it helps to predict the exponential growth and decay so where we can use this here it is helpful to know about or to predict the exponential growth and decay and population and species growth and 
some of the uses we are having. So here, so what are the uses we are having particularly about the engineering? You can see here, modeling the growth of diseases. This is we can observe in the biology. So modeling of growth of diseases and describe the movement of electricity. This is describes the movement of electricity and describes the motion of pendulum and wave synthetics. So, describe the motion of pendulum and waves and use Newton's second law of motion and law of cooling. So, Newton's law of cooling and Newton's second law of motion and law of cooling. These are the applications that we are using in engineering. So, just now we see about the what is the differential equation. So, what is the ordinary differential equation? So, here our title is first order, first order and first degree, first degree differential equation. First order and first degree differential equations in our syllabus. So, just now up to now we are seeing about what is ODE, who invented this, okay, what are the applications of ODE. Now, in this ODE or in this order differential equation, what is the meaning of first order and what is the meaning of first degree, we are going to see. So, what is the order of the differential equation, otherwise how to identify the order of the differential equation, we can see here. A differential equation is said to be of order n. If we are saying that the equation is having the order n, then it should have nth derivative. We should have nth derivative is the highest derivative in that equation. If you are saying that n is order of the equation, so that nth derivative should be highest derivative. Should be highest derivative. You can see in this example x square plus 1 into dy by dx plus 2xy equal to 4x square. Now, what is this order of the equation? Here we are having the derivative. This is dy by dx. This is dy by dx. What is this order? First order. So, this is first order differential equation. So, you can see the one more example here. x into d square y by dx square minus 2x minus 1 into dy by dx plus x minus 1 into y equal to e power x. Here we are having the derivatives d square y by dx square and dy by dx. What is the highest derivative here? d square y by dx square. So, what is the order of this? Order is 2. So, based on this definition, we can decide upon the order of the differential equation. So, that means in our syllabus, we are having first order equations. We are having first order equations. Now, we are going to see what is degree and what is first degree. See here, degree of a differential equation. So, what is the degree of a differential equation? How to identify the degree of a differential equation? We can see here, degree of a differential equation is the highest degree of the highest derivative in the equation. What is that? Equation is the highest degree of a highest derivative in the equation. Of the equation is made free from radicals and fractions in this derivative, derivation. So, that means first of all we have to simplify the equation. We have to simplify the given equation. After simplification we can decide about the degree of the equation because there may be some changes after the simplification. So, then only we can decide about the degree of the equation. We can see here the example a into t square y by dx square equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole power 3 by 2. Now, we are simplifying this equation. So, here we are doing square on both sides. So, a square t square y by dx whole square equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square and here 3 by 2 is there, we are doing whole square again. So, now this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled. Finally, I am getting here a square into d square y by dx square whole square equal to 1 plus 
dy by dx whole square whole cube whole square whole cube now what is the degree what is the degree highest highest derivative so what is the highest derivative here two derivatives are there d square y by dx square and dy by dx what is the highest derivative d square y by dx square what is the degree is 2 so now we can decide about the degree for this equation degree is 2 so like this first we have to simplify the equation if you before early if you are taking about the degree there may be a wrong so in some of the equation we need to do the simplification after then only you can decide about the degree of the equation so now what is the first order and first degree differential equations differential equations of first order and first degree so here the general form of first order and first degree differential equation is dy by dx equal to f of x comma y or r m dx plus n dy equal to 0 m dx plus n dy equal to 0 here this is the form of the general form of the first order and first degree differential equation that means we have dy by dx equal to f of x y then we can decide about that is the first order and first degree differential equation otherwise m dx plus n dy equal to 0 also is the one of the general form so if you are getting like this or like this we can see we can decide about that equation is first order and first degree here what are the m and n m and n are functions of x and y these m are functions of x and y so here this is the form of the first order and first degree differential equation so we need to solve these differential equations so for this for this solution we don't have any particular method that means there is no general method to solve any first order differential equations so based on the equation and based on the type so method will be different so the equation which belongs to one of the following types can be easily solved so if it is belongs to one type so we are having the one method we are having another type we are having the another method like that we are classified the equations here based on the form c here the in the general the first order differential equation can be classified how they classified so following with so one is variable and separable so based on variable separable method we can solve the order first order differential equation that means if it is like that in the form there is a possibility to separate the variable and separable according to the given equation then we can use the variable separable method and homogeneous equation so here the order should be equal for the all terms so the homogeneous equation is there so based on that we can solve that equation and non-homogeneous equation there is a non-homogeneous equation so we can solve that equation also and one more here exact equations and not exact equations also is there so to solve the exact equations and not exact equations we are having the general methods by using the integrative factor we are going to see in the next videos and coming to next one is linear equation and Bernoulli's equation so here linear equation and Bernoulli's equation if it is belongs to linear equation we are having some procedure to solve that and working rule also is there and if it is belongs to Bernoulli's equation we are having the separate method so like this the given and equation we have to classify according to these methods and equations then we can solve by using the methods which are belongs to which method based on that we can solve so here if it is belongs to variable separable we are going to use variable separable method if the equation in the form of homogeneous we can solve that homogeneous equation by using the suitable method and if it is non-homogeneous, we can use the suitable method. If it is exact equation, we can use the indicating factors. If it is not exact, we are going to reduce or we can change into exact equations to solve the differential equation. Like that for the linear and parallel also, we are having the method to solve. 
So, like this, we classified our first order differential equations according to these equations. Now, so what is the meaning of the variable separable? We can see here. If the differential equation is dy by dx equal to f of x comma, this is the general form of the first order differential equation. So, it can be expressed in the form. It can be expressed in the form that is dy by dx equal to f of x by g of y. f of x by g of y. So, or we can write this f of x into dx minus g of y into dy equal to 0. That means where x form is there with the dx and y function is there with the dy. If there is a possibility to separate like this, then it is belongs to variable separable. So, what is the f and what is the g here? So, f and g are continuous functions of single variable. f and g are continuous functions of single variable. Then it is said to be of the form variable separable. It is said to be of the form variable separable. So, after deciding uh, about uh, this form, so what is the general solution to solve this variable separable equation is? We can see here integral f of x dx minus integral g of y dy equal to c. Integral f of x dx minus integral g of y dy equal to c. So, where c is any arbitrary constant. So, this is the general solution. This is the general solution of variable separable method. So, once see this example about the variable separable method, solve x square plus 1 into dy by dx plus y square plus 1 equal to 0. So, here we are having the given equation is x square plus 1 into dy by dx plus y square plus 1 equal to 0. We are going to write this one as dy by dx plus y square plus 1 equal to 0. Now we are writing in the form. So dy by so dy by y square plus 1 dy by y square plus 1 and dx by x square plus 1 dx by x square plus 1 equal to 0. Now, we are having y with the dy and x with the dx. Now, we are having the general solution according to this integral f of x dx. So, integral 1 by x square plus 1 into dx plus integral 1 by y square plus 1 into dy equal to 0. So, if you know this formula, integration formulas, you can write this uh, solution. So, integral 1 by 1 plus x square is tan inverse x, tan inverse x. Plus, here integral 1 by 1 plus y square is tan inverse y, tan inverse y equal to c. So, this is our general solution and this is the way to solve the given equation by classifying the variable separable product. So, these are the textbooks we refer uh, for the, uh, ODE and we can go through the some more uh, textbooks also and some of the Google links also. First, see here VS Gravel, Higher Engineering Mathematics and NP Bali and Manish Goyal, a textbook of Engineering Mathematics and BV Ramana, Higher Engineering Mathematics. The three textbooks are basic ones. You can go through this for the ODE and some more examples. And we can use some of the Google links also. So, here, so we can consider the problems and we can take some more examples in these textbooks to get the better clarity about the what is ODE and what is about, what is the method we can use and what are the sortable methods we can use for the given differential equations. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.